Welcome to Learnpedia, the ultimate JE and NEET prep tool currently being used by more than 20,000 aspirants. Let's see if you can answer this important question. If you think you got the answer, post it in the comment section below. To understand the concept behind this question, go ahead and watch the full video. Grabs a cycle. In 1937, English biochemist Sir Hans Krebs postulated the cycle of reactions that lead to the oxidation of pyruvic acid to produce carbon dioxide. This cycle is known as citric acid cycle. In 1953, Krebs was awarded Nobel Prize for this discovery. And this cycle is referred as Krebs cycle in his honor. Krebs cycle or citric acid cycle takes place in the matrix of mitochondrium. All enzymes required for carrying out the reactions are located in the matrix. In this cycle, the first formed molecule is citric acid. So, this cycle is called citric acid cycle. Citric acid is a tricarboxylic acid having three COOH groups. So, this cycle is also called tricarboxylic acid cycle or TCA cycle. Now, let us see the reactions taking place in the Krebs cycle. The first reaction is condensation. The acetyl coenzyme A, which is a two carbon compound, condenses with an organic acid called oxaloacetic acid. This is a four carbon compound. This reaction is catalyzed by the enzyme citric synthetase. So, oxaloacetic acid, a four carbon compound, plus acetyl coenzyme A, a two carbon compound, results in the production of citric acid and coenzyme A is released, the enzyme citric synthetase. This is a 6 carbon compound with 3 carboxylic groups. Second reaction is dehydration. Citric acid should be converted to isocitric acid. This conversion takes place in two steps. The first step is citric acid is converted to cis aconitic acid plus one water molecule. From citric acid, one water molecule is removed with the help of the enzyme aconitase. The next step is hydration. The last water from citric acid is again added to cis aconitic acid, that is, cis aconitic acid plus water gives rise to isocitric acid. This reaction is catalyzed by the same enzyme, aconitase. So, in this way, the citric acid is isomerized to isocitric acid through cis-aconitic acid. Next reaction, oxidation. The first oxidation. Here, all the oxidations taking place in Krebs cycle are removal of hydrogen, but not addition of oxygen. So, in the first oxidation, isocitric acid undergoes dehydrogenation in the presence of isocitric dehydrogenase enzyme. The reaction is isocitric acid plus NAD producing oxalosuccinic acid plus NADH that is NADH2. The enzyme here is isocitric dehydrogenase. Remember always. Whenever NAD participates, the name of the enzyme will be dehydrogenase. And a prefix is added to this word dehydrogenase by the substrate on which the enzyme acts. The next reaction is decarboxylation, means removal of carbon in the form of carbon dioxide. The oxalosuccinic acid is a 6 carbon compound as the case of citric acid. This acid releases one molecule of carbon dioxide to produce a 5 carbon compound that is alpha ketoglutaric acid. 
the reaction is oxalosuccinic acid with the loss of carbon dioxide gives rise to alpha ketoglutaric acid this is a 6 carbon compound and this is a 5 carbon compound with the liberation of one carbon dioxide molecule since it is decarboxylation the name of the enzyme also is decarboxylase so oxalosuccinic decarboxylase the next reaction is oxidative decarboxylation this reaction is similar to the conversion of pyruvic acid to acetyl coenzyme A that is the link reaction this is the oxidation 2 means hydrogen is removed that is oxidation and decarboxylation means carbon dioxide is removed that is why it is called oxidative decarboxylation in this reaction also the six cofactors are involved when alpha ketoglutaric acid a 5 carbon compound undergoes oxidative decarboxylation it results in the production of succinyl coenzyme A the enzyme that catalyzes this reaction is alpha ketoglutaric dehydrogenase naturally here alpha ketoglutaric acid combines with NAD plus coenzyme A the products along with the succinyl coenzyme A NADH2 and carbon dioxide the cofactors involved are TPP, lipoic acid, NAD, FAD, coenzyme A, magnesium. Next reaction is cleavage. In this reaction, succinyl coenzyme A breaks into succinic acid and coenzyme A. This succinyl coenzyme A is an energy rich molecule and when it is converted to succinic acid, the energy is released and it is utilized by ADP to produce a molecule of ATP. The reaction is as follows. Succinyl coenzyme A plus ADP plus inorganic phosphate produces succinic acid plus ATP plus coenzyme A. And the enzyme that catalyzes this reaction is succinic thiokinase. Since this ATP is produced by the energy present in this molecule succinyl coenzyme A. This synthesis of ATP is an example of substrate level phosphorylation. One interesting feature here is in the mitochondria of animal cells, it is GTP but not ATP. The next reaction is third oxidation. Here, succinic acid undergoes oxidation remember again oxidation means removal of hydrogen to produce fumaric acid here the hydrogen acceptor is not NAD but FAD flavoadenine dinucleotide the reaction is succinic acid plus FAD produces fumaric acid plus FADH2 as succinic acid is oxidized using FAD, it is dehydrogenase and the name of the enzyme is succinic dehydrogenase. Next reaction is hydration. Fumaric acid is hydrated means water is added. So fumaric acid when it is hydrated results in the production of malic acid. The reaction is fumaric acid plus water producing malic acid the enzyme here is fumarase the next reaction is oxidation and it is fourth oxidation in this reaction malic acid is converted to oxaloestic acid and from malic acid hydrogen is removed it is accepted by NAD to produce NADH2 so the reaction is malic acid plus NAD gives rise to oxaloestic acid plus NADH2. The enzyme here is malic dehydrogenase. So to have a overall view of Krebs cycle, go to the next slide. This is mitochondrium. From glycolysis, two molecules of pyruvic acids are produced. So one molecule of pyruvic acid, another molecule of pyruvic acid, then they enter into the mitochondrium. One pyruvic acid undergoes one Krebs cycle. Another molecule of pyruvic acid undergoes 
another Krebs cycle. So far, one glucose molecule, which is the basic substrate of aerobic respiration, two molecules of pyruvic acid and two Krebs cycles. Each Krebs cycle yields two molecules of carbon dioxide, three molecules of NADH2, one molecule of FADH2. So, from each Krebs cycle, four reduced pyridine nucleotides, that is, three NADH2s and one FADH2. In another Krebs cycle, another three NADH2s and one FADH2. So, total you have six NADH2 molecules and two FADH2 molecules and by substrate level phosphorylation. Each Krebs cycle produces one ATP, that means two ATP molecules. So, these are the products of Krebs cycle per one molecule of glucose. The byproducts are four carbon dioxide molecule per one glucose molecule. What is the significance of Krebs cycle? Krebs cycle is both catabolic and anabolic. You know catabolism is a destruction process and anabolism is a construction process. In the anabolic process, alpha ketoglutaric acid serves as a substrate for the synthesis of amino acids. Alpha ketoglutaric acid plus ammonia plus ATP results in the production of the amino acid glutamic acid. This is a reaction called amination because both pathways are involved in Krebs cycle. It is referred as amphibolic pathway, means it serves dual purpose. Look at the cycle of chemical changes that take place during Krebs cycle. Acetyl coenzyme A combines with oxalic acid forming citric acid, and the cycle follows. And finally, after liberation of the carbon dioxide molecules, you have again formation of oxalic acid. In the link reaction, one carbon dioxide is produced. So, total three carbon dioxide molecules are generated for each pyruvic acid molecule. Go through the cycle and all the reactions in a sequence. Hey there, hope you understood the concept. Here's the solution to the question asked at the beginning. Found this video useful? Hit the like and share icons to enjoy more such videos. Learnpedia's JE and NEAT prep tools contain more than 4000 videos and over 20,000 solved examples. These can be accessed online through our website or offline through an SD card or a pen drive. To buy now, visit www.learnpedia.in. You can also experience a free demo of our product before buying.